Hello and welcome to Your Erie Roots, where we find the stories behind significant people and places from right here in Erie. Today, we're talking about magic, and the greatest magician in history was actually from right here in Erie, PA. His name was Harry Keller. That's right, Harry Keller. You may have thought Harry Houdini, the man whose last trick was here in the water torture cell, but before Houdini, it was actually Harry Keller. I'm here today with Bobby Borgia, who's a Keller historian and the owner of Keller's Magic Club. Bobby. Can you tell me about this great man? I uh, sure can, Spencer. I'd like to tell you about the man, the myth, the legend, what we call in the magic world around the globe, the Dean of American Magicians, Harry Keller. And he was born July 11th, 1849, right here in Erie, Pennsylvania. The theater he would perform at here in Erie every year with his big illusion show was the Majestic Theater. 1893 was one of his last shows here in Erie. And my favorite part is his boyhood home. His boyhood home was directly across the street from the club. It stood 75 13th Street. Two unknown facts about the legendary magician from Erie, Pennsylvania, Mr. Harry Keller, is number one, when you think of a magician wearing a top hat and a tuxedo, the reason, well, it's because of him. And the second, which I find amazing, is we are home to the real Wizard of Oz. L. Frank Baum, he paid a sly tribute to the immortal character of the Wizard of Oz when he based the wizard character on Harry Keller. Harry Keller actually stood for the drawings that you see in the original book. So Bobby, talk to me about these letters that are on the wall of your club. The letters are, to me, are the secret that's been hidden in the city of Erie. I've done this my whole life. Finally, we got our hands on some of it. These are actual letters to Harry Keller from Harry Houdini. A lot of people don't realize it, but Harry Keller mentored Houdini's entire career. The Grim Game was Harry Houdini's very first film produced at Paramount Studios. What uh, a lot of historians know is Irvin Willett directed the film. I know Keller would visit the set, but what a lot of people don't know that we just discovered through the archives is Harry Keller funded the entire movie for Harry Houdini. But Harry Keller was the one magician that inspired every magician from that point on. And you can see the iconic posters that are all over the wall known as the Golden Age of Magic Posters. Bobby, you basically built this club as an homage to Harry Keller. Talk about what happens with your shows on the weekends. What's unique about this club, it's not just uh, stand-up comedy, but it's also magicians. And we have a sleight of hand performance bar. So I wanted to design an actual bar that has a show. And you can see the top magicians that you see on Penn and Teller's Fool Us, America's Got Talent, here at our bar doing sleight of hand close-up magic. It'll blow your mind. But Bobby, it's not just about the sleight of hand bar. You've basically brought the Magic Castle of Los Angeles to right here in Erie, PA. Yeah, I worked at the Magic Castle for 25 years in Hollywood. And I wanted to do something different and unique and bring it to Erie. How to do that? Erie had the secret right here. He was the home to the greatest magician that ever lived, Harry Keller. And now you're bringing magicians from all over the world, primarily from here in America, that are big, big names, and you're actually putting them on your own stage. Absolutely. So besides the top comedians, we now have the top magicians right here at the Sleight of Hand Bar and live on stage. And we have table artists while you're eating your dinner doing close-up magic right at the table. It's a unique experience. This is the Sleight of Hand Bar that we were talking about yeah. earlier. Yeah. You said you wanted to show me a trick, so let's see what you got. I'm going to show you something I hope that you like a lot. Take this pen, please. And take out any card you like, Spencer, any one at all. I'll pick this one. Okay. kind of hiding. Now, what I'd like you to do is you are going to take and put your initial right across, or really big, put your name on the three of hearts. That way you'll know I can't duplicate this card in any way, shape, or form, okay? Come on. It is the three of hearts. Okay. And you signed it to make it different from all the other cards in the deck. That's correct. And what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to lose your card in the middle of the deck. So there's the, there's the card. And I'm going to shove it right about there. OK, push. So uh, your card is lost. Okay. It's not on the top and it's not on the bottom. Isn't that fun? But I have a rubber band. I want you to examine the rubber band. OK, make sure it's a regular rubber band. That is a regular rubber band. OK, and now we're going to take and rubber band the entire deck of cards from corner to corner, corner to corner. OK, I'm going to get your card out of the deck, do a triple somersault midair, and stick against the ceiling. You want to pull back for this, kids. What? <laughs> it's up there. It's up there and it's sticking up there. So if you want to come see my card down here at Keller's, 
it'll be there waiting for you. So until the next time, I'm Spencer Lee for Your Ear Roots and YourEerie.com.